Hallelujah. The Lord is good. This is the day that the Lord has made. We we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Today I'm going to be sharing the word of God with you again. And I believe you are going to be blessed. In addition to that, we will also be praying. I have a strong feeling in my, in my spirit that we should pray this prayer point. And I know we are going to benefit from it in the name of Jesus. Today I, I, I'm going to be talking to us from the book of Genesis chapter 24. Specifically, I'm going to, I, I will try as much as possible to summarize that chapter, but verse 12 is where we are going. Verse 12 is a prayer point that we are going to pray. I, I, and I want us to take it serious. Wherever you find yourself, wherever you are at this point in time, whatever you are doing, I want you to, to, to take note of that prayer point. Find time, pray it when it is convenient for you, in your own family devotion, wherever you find yourself. Pray it, and I know you are going to be blessed. In Genesis chapter 24, Abraham instructed one of the servants to travel to his hometown. I mean, with a specific instruction because it was time for Isaac to marry. It. And Abraham gave specific instructions as to what should be done. My son is not going to be marrying people, he's not, he's not going to be marrying from the people who dwell with at the moment. I need you to travel to my hometown, to my people. That is where I want Isaac, my son, to marry from. And the servant took the instruction, and Abraham also prayed for him that the angel of the Lord would direct him, and the angel of the Lord would guide him. But the servant prayed one prayer point that I think it is necessary, and it is needed by all of us in this present dispensation. If you check verse 12 of Genesis chapter 24. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Abraham. People of God, we need speed in everything we do. I know things are bad, things are tough, businesses are closing down, companies are closing down, a lot of businesses are going to voluntary liquidation because of the impact of this lockdown. In fact, some analysis have, some analysis have shown that a lot of business will not be able to recover. So they will just go into voluntary liquidation. I mean, that is not a, a, a news. It's not a news any longer. But what we are concerned with this morning is that we serve a God who can do all things. Who can grant speed for people to recover from whatever situation you find yourself? Even people who are sick at the moment, even people who have been who have been confirmed positive of this virus, God can grant speed for recovery. The speed we are talking about is not limited to the issue of marriage that we are discussing here. It's it's it, it relates to everything that concerns us. So as an individual, I want us to take it serious. I want us to take that prayer point and praise as it, as it concerns us. I don't know the area of your life where you need speed. I don't know what you are doing that is not going as expected. I don't know those things you plan for 2020. I don't know those things, those targets you have set for yourself, things you want to achieve for 2020 that you have not been able to achieve because of what is happening. We have lost over six weeks. People are not going to work again. Businesses are not opening again, a lot of things are going on and you don't even know what to do. But you can still pray to God to gain to speed because this period will surely pass. This lockdown will be over and we will return back. Though it may be difficult for us to return back to the normal life, but we are going to return anyhow. And what is important after returning is for you to be able to accomplish those things you have set for yourself this year. And I believe God that you are going to recover. You are going to recover in the name of Jesus and you will accomplish everything you have set for 2020. So in your own in your own closet, in your own devotion, private time, pray this prayer that the God of heaven, as the servant of Abraham pray, that should grant you that God of heaven should grant you speed to accomplish everything you plan and program for this year. And it is my prayer, it is my belief that the God of heaven we grant you speed to accomplish everything you set out to do this year in the name of Jesus. God bless you. See you again on Friday.